today's video is going to be title again um, about the Katy Perry's in the perfume. I believe it's new. It's not that new because it's out in shops now. Um, but I want to do a makeup tutorial inspired by this like packaging and the bottle. Um, I've had this sitting in my drawer for about a month, been wanting to film this video, but I know how in depth I want it to be, so I haven't actually done it. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's um, don't focus on me. <laughs> it's white with gold and then a black lid, and it's just got put the I know it's individual, but I'm like the, put the you and I don't know. Anyway, I'm doing a makeup tutorial inspired by this. Um, it smells quite musty. Um, I haven't actually worn it yet because it's been my drawer. So let's just jump into the video. Um, if you haven't already liked and subscribed my video, subscribe to my channel and we'll just keep on going. Right, I actually, guys, I've had this primer water, this Smashbox one, for ages, like since July. I haven't been able to use it because every time I was using it, the squirty bottle was just going like one big squirt. And when I put it on my face, it was just like, like it wasn't right. And today I was like, I'm going to fix this. So I actually was trying to use all my different um, primer waters to fit on top and they didn't work. And I'm like, I just want this fixed. So I really want to use it and see what the craze is about this primer. So I ended up getting a, um, a needle, like a fine needle, and um, jammed it through and I got it to work. So yay, I can finally use this primer water. So that's what I'm using. <laughs> I think that just went everywhere again. Oh, I can't win with this stupid bottle. It's going to give me the shits. I don't want to buy a new one. I want to get this to work. Um, so I'm just going to let that disperse into my skin. I might just pat it in a bit because it did, like, squirt everywhere. Foundation-wise, I'm in the middle of, like, going pretty light to really dark. So I'm doing a mix. I'm going to mix my MAC ones, my NC15 and NC25. Just going to mix these on the back of my hand. And I think I'm all set with the primer. Just gonna make sure I take it down my neck because I custom mixed my shade. I think I still look a little bit light, but um, I mean dark. So I'm just gonna use my concealer and that under my eyes to help brighten me up a little bit. Eyebrows, I'm going to use my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in Taupe. What else is new there? And I'm just going to do my brows off camera because I'll be here for about five minutes. Not even going to lie. Okay, they're on. They're like a bit hit and miss today. Um, I'm not having a good brow day. I'm just going to set them with the Rimmel Brow this way in blonde. Like, hey, that's my colour. Except I really don't like these brushes because I reckon they're too big for um, the eyebrows. So I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True Blend Golden Palette, this one here. I really did get good results from it last time, but I'm just going to be using a few colours, like the transition ones and the darker ones. So, oh, they're all shimmers. And then I actually mix in between the two CoverGirl Nude and Golden Palette, just to work up my transition colour that I want and my crease and all that jazz. So for my transition colour, I'm going to actually use this one in the middle, this brown one. I don't know... Um, Fawn, I think it's called, and it's going to pop that in my crease for both eyes. I need to get more of these brushes. This is like my favourite brush ever. It's the Furless ME3. I reckon it's just such a beautiful crease brush. Just to like place that colour down. As you can tell, like I use it all the time. I clean it and then I just go and use it again. Like, why do I bother cleaning you? That one there. See how we get that one. I'm just gonna grab these Too Faced Natural Eyes. I really can't be bothered diving into my, all my eyeshadows. I'm just gonna grab this cashmere one and see if that does anything different. If not, basically, guys, I just want to get a nice crease color. Right, and then I'm going to take this one here and just pop this on the outer third and then what I'm going to do is when it's on there, blend it and blend it into the crease. Oh, 
god i think this is just the color it's falling out like no tomorrow can you see that no, i don't like that color i'm gonna go with the Too faced one and grab the yeah i'm pretty sure it's espresso that one and try that one oh that's better oh a lot darker I think I've used the black. Just gonna use the black one again. No, I didn't actually want to use that black because I got my Napoleon one black. So I'm gonna use that one instead. I know this one's pigmented. Well, I think I found my new favorite black, this one in this Chi Chi palette, pigmented AF. I'm gonna upset that it's not that perfect because I've never done a cut crease before. I'm just gonna set that down. That concealer is quite thick. Yeah, I know that looks like crap on this eye, but I'm okay with that. First time's a charm. Right, I'm going to take this NYX um, eyeshadow in Frostbite, and I'm going to drench my brush in Fix Plus to get this to work. I think I've done a step wrong, but please, please don't judge me. This is my first one. I have a backup eyeshadow if this does not work as well. Hey guys, it's working. <laughs> right, I'm just going to blend that and then I'm just going to add a little bit more of something on the top. But I'm just going to blend this ever so finely. Now I'm going to use this Napoleon Purtis Loose Dust in Water Lily. Yeah, I think it will. I look like Rella DeVille right now. I'm ready to clean up this mess underneath, but first, before I do that, because it's quite Dark. I'm just gonna get my powder brush and just try and fix up as much as I can and conceal the shit out of my face. I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender, but first I'm going to use the Smashbox one. Right, I'm just going to bake with my Face of Australia translucent powder. I have not baked in ages. I'm going to contour, because I haven't powdered my face yet, so I'm going to contour this Maybelline um, Duo Stick, but I'm just going to use the cream contour. I'll try not to go really close down for you guys because I know I'm still zoomed in. Okay, we are still blending. Okay, we have to use a brush. Ugh, I don't like this product. Use black under my under eyes. <laughs> oh, 
There's like one spot here that the eyeshadow is not sticking to. I don't know if it's my concealer or what, um, but it's not sticking and I can't really be asked trying to fix it. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Cashmere. It's this gold one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that with an eyeshadow. Wish me luck. I've never done this before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a um, winged eyeliner brush and use this gold here and pop that in my brush line. This could go really good or really bad. I'm just going to get really close. I'm sorry, guys. Right, mascara, I'm going to use the Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline. For lashes, I'm going to use the Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm not going to do this on camera because we'll be here for about 200 years, so I will be back with lashes on. Lashes are on. Oh my god, they look really good, actually, if I may say so myself. Um, yeah, I really like these ones. All right, so let's move out of the eyes because I feel like we've spent the whole video on my eyes. All right, let's set the face. I'm going to, I don't even know where all my shit is right now. Um, the Rimmel Insta Matte and Insta Fix and Matte. I'm going to use that to set the face. To contour, I'm going to use and bronze my Benefit Hula. For blush, I'm going to use this Chi Chi Immaculate Ombre Collection and I'm going to grace this one right here. For highlight, I'm going to use the Sleek Palette. Um, I was going to use the gold one. Yeah, I'm going to use the gold one. I'm going to line my lips with the MAC Lip Pencil in Sculpt Sculpture. Subculture. And I'm going to use a Butter Gloss. I'm going to use the NYX one in Chocolate Crepe. God, this smells amazing. Just gonna set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Oh God, I feel like I'm gonna cry in a second. Okay guys, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look so different. I'm looking at the viewfinder like, whoa. Yeah, I know my looks so weird. Um, When I talk in that, this one always lifts up and this one doesn't. It's so annoying, so um, I swear it's on evenly, but when I talk, it just like, ugh, goes so weird. I know it's so annoying. Oh no. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was inspired by the Katy Perry Indie Perfume. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I enjoy doing really out there looks. It's just like, I feel like, oh, I just want to take it off as soon as I put it on because I'm not really a full on makeup wearer anymore. I really just like my natural skin, which is so good to be confident in. But if you're not confident in your natural skin, that's fine. I'm actually on uni break. I've got exams coming up, but uh um, so practically on uni break, apart from exams coming up. So you should see more videos from me in the future. I don't know why I'm flapping. But anyway, um, I'll see you in my next video. And I love you and thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye.